Let's have a look at regularization. So in this task we will use regularization as a means to reduce overfitting. And what I uh, sketched over here is a classic overfitting scenario. So what you can see is that our RSS residual function um, or term actually um, decreases during training time. So um, the more steps we take, um, the better our um, model fits our training data. But the problem that we will encounter here is that if we try to fit our test data on the learned model, that um, this does not work as good as intended. And there are several reasons for that. And one reason that RSS tries, or not, not RSS, that regularization tries to tackle is um, yeah, that uh, the weights are adjusting too closely to the training data set. Um, the values are getting uh, too large, for example. And um, yeah, this is, this is what introducing a regularization term tries to mitigate. So our goal in the end will be to have a test curve that is actually closer to or, or smaller. And what happens with our train curve is not that relevant, but we would expect to also have it very close to that expected curve. So in the end, what counts is the test performance. And in this case, the test case got better with a smaller residual or error function, if you want. And well, the, the train case got a bit worse, but uh, we could argue that this difference over here is just achieved due to overfitting, due to learning things by heart and not um, learning the concept. And um, now let's see what this actually means.